All right, so I got some stuff here to show you. A lot of cool stuff this week. So let's get into the books first. I have quite a few books. There's actually only two movies in this haul. But I'm going to talk about this first book here because this is the first book I want you to take note of. Also, showing this book might get me into some trouble. Like, not actually, but like, I just feel like some per certain people that follow my content may not realize this about me. Or maybe they do. And maybe it wasn't. Maybe they don't care, but still. I grabbed Brian Taylor Cohen's new book, Shameless, uh, Republicans, Deliberate Dysfunction and Battle to Preserve Democracy. If you don't know who Brian Taylor Cohen is, this guy is an up-and-coming YouTube sensation in the political scene. Um, and he is an advocate for progressive policies ideas and he's really good at what he does and i think what's great about him is he does where the media fails us too much and that's what this book is all about how the mainstream media has failed us let these you know right wingers run with these ideas that oh they're better on all these policies when they're really not and it's about him diving deep into it. I'm surprised how small this book is. It's only 200 pages. But it's got a forward by Jamie Raskenberg, one of the best uh, people working in politics today. I, If I had a choice of who would run for Democratic president next, it'd be Jamie Raskenberg. This is a high, highlight for me. Check out his YouTube. It is a great book. I wanted to talk about this book first because... I want you to get I want you to look into this book, get this book more than anything else I show in this video. And uh support Brian Taylor Cohen. He's doing great work for uh, our country just as a whole, doing what he's doing. And it is a uh interesting book that I will be reviewing on my main channel at some point, even though I don't usually like those sorts of books or review those types of books, but this is something wholly different. And uh yeah, let me get into the comics next. So this week in terms of comics was actually a pretty good week. There's a lot of stuff here actually I have to show you, surprisingly. Take up everything out of the bag. I think I did. Right. Yeah, I grabbed everything out of the bag. I think. Oh. There's the one I was looking for. Okay. First one I grabbed here, my unfortunately my comic book shot, so, shop sold out of the first issue of Johnny Quest. So I ended up only getting this blank variant cover. But what's weird about this blank variant cover, these blank variant covers, you don't know the purpose of them is for like an artist to sign it. But then they usually put artwork here, but it's double the blank. And I just don't understand. I love Johnny Quest though, and I really would be kicking myself if I didn't grab the first issue. And so I grabbed this first uh, issue. And, uh, sorry, my dog wants out the door. Go. But that is, uh, that's going to be cool. I can't wait to read that. I am very disappointed, though. I ended up with the shitty variant cover. I got the first issue of X-Men, uh, or not X-Men, Ultraman versus the Avengers, issue number one. This is a variant cover, but that looks really cool. Um, I grabbed a variant cover of the first issue of Nightcrawler. If you don't know what Nightcrawler is, Nightcrawler is the uh, mask vigilante form that Raphael takes in the 2003, 2007, whatever year that animated Ninja Turtles movie came out. Not the newest one, but the one before that that is really bad. Um, at least I think it's really bad. I know some fans like it. I... I don't really like that movie. I think it just does not work, but uh, it's pretty boring. But this is pretty good comic, uh, from what I've been hearing, and uh, excited to read that first issue. So, and it's kind of a reboot of sorts of something different from the comics. So we'll see. We got Doctor Who issue number two. Uh, I really enjoyed issue number one, and I can't wait to read that. I got issue number two of the latest run of X-Men comics and continuing with the X-Men thing I also got X-Factor 
Um, yeah, all the new X-Men stuff I've been trying to pick up and read. You know, I've never really gotten into the X-Men comics before because X-Men comics are very complicated to get into. Uh, now they've rebooted it kind of fresh and made it easier for some people to jump in. The only issue is there's a lot to collect. There's a lot of different characters, a lot of different storylines. So you got to be prepared to jump around with your comic stuff um, to really follow all that. But if you're willing to do it, X-Men comics are 100% worth it. Um, beware of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, this is the new trade paperback of this four-issue run. I really like what Marvel's been doing with these newer Planet of the Apes comics. Um, this one is basically a new story set in the classic continuity of the Planet of the Apes movies. If you know me, I love the original Planet of the Apes movie, so I will be reading this soon and possibly reviewing that. And then, uh, to, as more High Republic stuff, I got... Uh, the Edge of Violence, number ish, uh, number three, or volume three of the uh, manga. Very cool stuff here. So, love High Republic stuff. Now, let's get into some of the Blu-rays and the other stuff that I uh, got this week. So, this week, I got uh, Chucky Season 3. You know, I got the uh, first two seasons on Blu-ray, of course. And so, it was time for me to get uh, Chucky Season 3. Um... You know, I know some people have not been enjoying this show as much lately. I don't get it. I thought this new season was pretty good. And probably what some of the best stuff we got so far. I'm not sure about the ending of the season. Especially since it seems kind of like... Are we getting a season three? Are we not? I feel like they pulled out all the stops for this season. Trying to make it um, just a really good go out with a bang type season. If... It, since they didn't know they were getting renewed. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Chucky Season 3 is pretty cool. There's two discs in this set. Uh, you know, front. there's about four episodes on each disc. Um, so, yeah. Chucky Season 3. It's got a nice slip cover to it. I like the artwork. I don't really like that they did the red, though. Because... I don't feel like it matches up as well anymore, but uh, as a collector, that kind of bugs me a little bit, but I do really love the Chucky show, even though I've not been a huge fan of Chucky as of late, of some of the stuff that he's done, but uh, yeah, and then this was supposed to come out last month, but then got delayed, but I knew I had to get it still, and that is this one archive Blu-ray edition of... Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, and Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. So, um, this is really great because these are actually been out of print on DVD. Um, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island uh, 1 and 2, they did the Blu-ray double pack from uh, Warner Archive. And so, uh, they point out this, which is the next installment in those uh, Scooby-Doo movies. Uh, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost is pretty cool. I feel like Scooby-Doo and Witch's Ghost, maybe they could have shaved for uh, Thanksgiving time because it's kind of got that fall vibe to it for that one. But uh, still great to have both these. It's a double pack, you know. Um, this was not as cheap as the Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island Blu-ray, though, which I was kind of sad about, but I am very glad to have these. The more classic Hannibal Barra animation stuff we can get from Warner Archive, just anything like that. Is what I gravitate towards. Like, their September announcements. We saw it's a Johnny Quest announcement. I was like, ah, yes, please. Uh, Top Cat coming to Blu-ray uh, as part of their August announcements. I don't think I'm going to grab it. Just too much stuff coming out in August. But that will be something I eventually will grab down the pipeline. This is a great release, though. And I'm excited to uh, put that in my Scooby-Doo collection up here. You can kind of see it. I have all my, uh, I have some Tom and Jerry movies on Blu-ray and Scooby-Doo movies on Blu-ray and I kind of have them all together. I like having some of my animation, Hanna-Barbera, um, catalog of stuff together. It just feels nice that way, um, you know, and so when I'm looking for my, uh, catalog of that kind of stuff, it's all sitting right there. So let me know your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe, and please... Please, I encourage you to go check out this book and Brian Taylor Cohen and his work. I think he's doing a lot for the current state of this country, which I know 
for some reason, is, is very frustrating. I think for everybody, it's really frustrating, whether no matter what side of the political spectrum you're on, but he is going uh, to hope it, I believe, with just the work he does. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.